fuck me later, paralyze a hop nigga, give him a breathing tube, I had to kill my bitch off cause she was shitting too, baby I'm a hustler, like I'm Cassidy, I tried to pop one of my cousins, fuck a family tree, bag chaser, show me one way, I'll change the mechanism, I had to snatch a nigga chains cause he was flexing with him, half sleep, dosing off these pills, sleeping with a Glock, bitch I feel like Franklin, I stay with a chop, turn your baby mama handicap off of this ecstasy, I heard you broke the bitch phone, how is she texting me, Glowing up, bitch I'm in my bag like an old lady, every time I get inside the booth they say I go crazy, niggas are fighting over Hoes like they pop high. You ain't getting a bag like you say. So I lie. He's sticking up, niggas. What up, what up, what up? It's your girl Free. I'm back here with another vlog. This is vlog number six. I told y'all I was gonna come to y'all with the exclusive interviews. You feel me? Last vlog was my girl DJ Ashby. I was able to get y'all some real good footage and shit, but I'm gonna save that shit for the later vlogs down the line. But there's a lot of different people that I'm gonna be getting to do these vlogs you know, Bakersfield, local Bakersfield artists, different actors, LA artists, like everybody. I want to get everybody that feels like they're somewhat relevant to the community and been basically taking a loss due to the coronavirus. Like, I need to hear what y'all talking about, what y'all got going on. So, um, hello. See, people riding bikes and masks and shit. I'm just at the park chilling right now. Per usual, you know, I'm always in the car, quarantine car files. Um, my special guest today is actually, I actually love his music. He is a local Bakersfield rapper, but, and I told y'all I wasn't going to tell y'all my city, but I guess I will. I'll put on for the town one, you know, one good time or whatever. But he's a, um, a local Bakersfield rapper. He's actually really, really, really talented at what he does. I love the music he be putting out, the energy, funny as a motherfucker. And, you know... I know he's been affected by the fact that he can't go record at the studios and go party and do different little shit. So I definitely want to get his opinion about the whole coronavirus and the whole shit. So my special guest today is Turbin, Turbin Foe, for those of you guys that know him. And so, yeah, we'll see what's what up, up with that. What up? How you doing? My name's Turbin. <laughs> Why'd you have to say it like the song? Because <laughs> that's how I always say it. <laughs> how you doing? My name's Turbin. It actually come natural. Like, one day I was just chilling. Like, somebody was like, what's your name? I was like, oh, how you doing? My name's Turbin. It just sounded so catchy. And it, it's like, like, you got such a dope-ass rap voice. Like, and when I be saying I had to cut my bitch off because she was cheating, too. It's his line. I'm like, dead. I relate to it so much. I do. How you relate to it? You be out here. Cheating. <laughs> 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 out here cheating too. Right, nah, I see you. you feel me? Nah. nah. I see you. You got cut off a few times, huh? I did. I did. I did. <laughs> I did. I did. So I'm what dead. you been doing? What you been doing? Man, lately I've just been writing music, doing a lot of different things, and it's like. You got to promote yourself right now. Since the corona going on, you really got to just keep posting all your old music and everything. A lot of people can't get to the studio. I used to have one in my house, but my, like, we had water damage, like, due to, like, a flood in my house. So it was kind of bad, so I had to get rid of my studio equipment. But we're going to get some more. Mm-hmm. I had to make sure this shit is straight for y'all. <laughs> I don't want it to be hold on, lopsided. Y'all know I don't care. I don't care about vlogging. I'm going to do, I'm going to move the camera. I'm going to do it ever. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. She tall. I'm short as hell. I ain't gonna, <laughs> I'm fat and short, so. <laughs> I am not tall. <laughs> but when they say turban foe, I'm gonna tell y'all the turban foe. It's been like it started off as tiny turban, but I changed the turban foe because I didn't really feel like being called tiny. Ain't nobody over me, but I'm right. short as hell. So that's why I call myself turban foe. Right. It's not a gang name. Everybody be like, what's the gang name for? Like, are you number four out of y'all? Like, there's no one, two, or three. It's just me. Right, 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 right. So you've had a big impact in, in my city, your city, our city. Um, as far as music goes, what do you what do you feel like the coronavirus and the quarantine and all of that has been doing as far as like the publicity? It's kind of hard for other artists to work with each other on top mm -hmm. of that. It's like we all want to drop, but it's like it's no point to drop if we're not shooting videos or we're not linking up or it's like you can't even be around people you want to be around in the studio because of the sickness right now. Cause I definitely don't want to take it home to my mother because she has lupus and then you know she has a weak immune system right. already. So just with that can kill her alone. Mm -hmm. So it's like hard for me to even work with people right now. Right, right, right. So hold on, let me focus. I just feel like I'm not in it as much as he is. <laughs> and y'all already know y'all want to see me. <laughs> oh my God. She popping, popping, y'all. Nah, thank you, thank you. You welcome. But um, yeah, I, I agree with you on that. I feel the same way. My dad has cancer. My mom's older, so I'm not trying to take it home to them. 
And I'm definitely not trying to give it to any of my friends. You know, I don't want to be the bitch. Bitch, you gave me. <laughs> and it was free. Free to one. And everybody coming at me with pitchforks. No. Mm -mm. So do you feel like it's basically affected the fact of like. They like. Jail. They selling weed. <laughs> oh my god. Niggas over here slang niggas is slanging at the park. I'm dead. They still be doing this that. It's a bad neighborhood to do this in. Mm -hmm. You going straight to jail. It's all white. Right, folks. let me find out. I love Caucasian people, but boy, look, he, he did it too. He going to jail. Mm hmm <laughs> Do you gonna come back to the car? Nah, it's over with buddy. <laughs> but yeah, do you like feel like as far as like concerts and little parties and events and shit that you guys would throw on? In the town, that's fucked up everything. Has it fucked your money up? I'm gonna be honest, it ain't fucked my money up because at the same time... Have you been not working and stuff? Yeah, like, I don't really... I don't work at all right now, so it's like... It's easy for me to get money off streaming and different things. But, like, mostly I could do features, too. So it's like, there's different things you could do. But I, lately, I've been betting on Madden. You seen last night, we, been, mm -hmm. we was betting heavy. But as far as, like, I feel like other artists that really need that, they losing a lot of money, like especially industry artists because right now they don't sell CDs no more. Mm -hmm. Everybody's just dropping videos. And sometimes those videos not on their YouTube page. Right. So therefore, somebody else is getting that revenue. Mm -hmm. So now it's just kind of hard for everybody to work and really get their money together because it's all this going on. You can't link with your fans. You can't really touch your fans. That's why you got so many artists doing lives, trying to talk to their fans, doing different things. It's just like... A, until you took five steps back when this came. So it's like, you was probably up 10 steps, now you took about 20. Right. I say. That's a lot you can't do. So you gotta, niggas is back freestyling on Facebook and Instagram. Like, it's bad. Right. right. So it's like, you really gotta do your thing. And especially right now, it's like, our music, our generation, I'm gonna play, it's different for how it was back in the day. Because back in the day, Tupac can go in the studio and make 10 songs and cut an album every two months. Right. Now you got us dropping music freely. We doing every, whatever we want to do. Like SoundCloud is free. Mm -hmm. But like when we drop on Apple Music, everybody don't have Apple Music. Right. A Me? Lot of yeah, a lot of teenagers don't have that. <laughs> and it's like because their parents not giving no credit cards. Plus they can't afford it. So it's like they got to go to SoundCloud. And SoundCloud's not paying you. Right. You're not getting no revenue off of that. So you're just doing music for no reason. Right. And do you feel like you're so like in love with your craft that you would do it for no reason or you do it because you get at it i'm gonna be honest or you reason, do it or you do it because you really love to rap i'm gonna be honest i love to rap but one thing like before i was rapping i wanted to be at a and r so i was right. like music just being around music i wanted to be involved with music right but when i fell in love with rapping i was like okay i just want to do rap just to do it like i couldn't do it for free i don't really care about the money for it but it is better when you get the money for it but People love, some people love fame, some people love money. I just love the music itself. I just mm -hmm. like people hearing me. Mm -hmm. Like hearing what I got to say. Before I was serving, I was just Keyshawn. Keyshawn, now, bitch, don't call me Keyshawn. <laughs> call me Big Turban. And now it's like with these, like, with with this fame I got now, I don't let it get to my head because I'm kind of used to being, like, cool with everybody. And it's, like, right. something you got to get used to when you before you do music. Right. Especially with social media, you can be popping on social media before it do anything. That's why you got YouTubers that's turning into rappers now that's popping. Right. Because people fuck with they shit. Right. Not to cuss on your channel like that, but <laughs> it's just like it's just different nowadays for us. So I feel like if you're not in love with the music, don't do it. Because mm -hmm. you're wasting your time. Like sometimes you just doing stuff just to do it because you can and you feel like you gonna have a hit. You can put out a whole hit album, but if you don't you're not interacting with people, you're not cool with people, or you right. just starting stuff. You really not going go nowhere at all. And you gotta really like, you gotta really like, promote your shit. It's yeah. not easy. People think honestly because I made videos with Kevin Edwards and we had millions of views on YouTube, and because like I stayed popular on social media due to the way that I look, not even because of my talent. That it's just I can post a video and so many people gonna watch it. No, you gotta promote your shit. Yeah, you like, really do. You gotta really like press people like. My first vlog that I just dropped again the other day uh, featuring my homegirl, Benzi, like, I have to send the shit to people, tell people to repost it. It's not easy. And if motherfuckers don't support each other, it's like nobody, I have no problem if I fuck with your music reposting your shit. Yeah. But I remember who I supported and then when I, you feel me, I'm doing vlogs and shit now, who supported me? So that's why, I have, like, nine times out of ten, you might post a song, not you, but a different person might post a song that I like, I'm not reposting your shit. Because it's like, it's just, it's the game 
with this type of shit, music, publicity, like Instagram, it's YouTube, it's all connections. It's all who support who. And if nobody support, if y'all ain't supporting each other, then it's kind of like, how do you support other, like, how do you expect other people to support you? And that's why I was like, the people that I decide to interview are going to be people that I actually interact with and fuck with and talk to and support their music and they support me and shit because I'm not just about to throw anybody on here because you guys want some clout or some publicity or something like that. That ain't what this is about. Yeah. Like, that is definitely not what this is about. But as far as, like, the coronavirus, it just makes it so hard because the people that I usually do skits and shit with... Niggas is all staying to themselves. The people that I would usually, you know, just... Pull up on. Yeah. yeah. I can't go do it. Yeah. And so it's like, I got to, like, pick dates, times, all the shit. limit yourself now. Yeah, I got to limit myself. It's, it's, how do you feel, like, as far as, like... How do you feel, like... This motherfucker going to irritate me. <laughs> no, nah, because it don't want to just stay. Like, I feel like more and more I keep getting out the camera. Yeah. There you go. Okay. How do you feel like your sex life has been since that? Because you... Since my I don't music. know if you guys know Tur- Turbin's music, <laughs> but he raps about being ain't shit. And that's why I love him. Because he an ain't shit nigga unless it be known I ain't shit. I'm but I think deep down inside, he really a nice guy. Like, I'm gonna be honest, like, I think you treat the bitches that will let you treat them like that. Like that. I'm gonna be honest, okay, this is how I'm gonna put it. So you know who you I'm okay, I'm gonna put it like this. I know who I can talk to a certain kind of way and mm-hmm. who I can treat a certain kind of way. Now every female not the same. hmm The females I mess with, I play like this is I start doing music, pussy rate went up. I'm not gonna lie, it went up. I was cool at first. I was probably at like uh I started rapping twenty eighteen before that. I was still having sex with a lot of people, but not like that. I'm going to put it like that. I was having sex. <laughs> but when I start popping, my sex game went like, I said sex game. My sex life went smooth up like a lot. Right. Because like you popping now, females want to see you. And then like what you said about connections, like that kind of helped a lot more because I'm doing features with different artists. I'm talking to different artists. I meet people. I meet women all the time. Like, especially, like, just doing little things, like, even like this, like, vlogs with you, like, mm-hmm. it might be females that like me or something, like, just different things. So, that's how it is. Y'all, y'all want turban? <laughs> Shoot y'all shot. <laughs> I'm dead. And then on top of that, I be having an accent, so I don't know why. If they say I got an accent. You do got an accent. I but do you think since the quarantine, since, okay, so you just described that you, the pussy rate was cool. It was good before the quarantine and the coronavirus and everything. Do you feel like the coronavirus has fucked your pussy up? No, I probably hit like 12 people in the last two weeks. Bitches is sick, and y'all over here spreading the virus. <laughs> y'all bitches stay away from him. I'm dead, nah, <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie. It's been cool, it's been cool, but like since the last two weeks, I ain't gonna lie, I've been nasty. Like. <laughs> so it's but made it better. It ain't made it better. It's just like, this is at home. This is just the good. <laughs> but if you're at home, you're gonna be looking for some dick or something. Like, you ain't got shit to do. Right, right. So right. on his level, it's made it. See, me, I don't get nothing. Like, I don't get none in the first place. I'm dead. And if I was going to step out and get some, you feel me? My friend, a Virgin Mary. Look at her free. She a Virgin Mary, y'all. <laughs> She's celibate out here. What? Celibate, absent, I mean, all that. I'm dead. How you, like, you really celibate? Mm, no, but I don't be fucking niggas. Okay, okay. I don't be having sex with guys. I haven't had sex with a, minute, a nigga in a minute, but you feel me? So I, I go to ask this, female-wise? <laughs> you, don't, uh, you don't gotta answer I ain't gonna be nosy <laughs> uh, But yeah it's just I don't feel like it's been making people Stay away from me more Or anything like that It's just I've been ducking off in the house And then I ain't even You know it's just I ain't even really even been thinking that types of ways I've been on some okay I can't It just changed my mind frame in a business standpoint Like damn I can't go to work I gotta go get a bag I ain't even got dick on my mind You know what I mean like Yeah see like my fans pay me So it's like with females like I really I'm gonna tell you the honest truth I haven't really paid for nothing in a long time Like being honest like Fans do a lot of shit like Dudes will see me like they be offering free drugs and shit. I be like, I'm cool. But, like, dudes be offering me, like, different money for features. And sometimes they don't even want a song. They just want to hang out in the studio, like, on some weird shit. And I be like, are we going to do a song? And I be like, 
And then it's like you got the one niggas that be running up on you like, hey, bro, I got beats for sale. Like, nigga, if you don't chill, I'm out with my daughter, chill. <laughs> so people think they local celebrities and thingeries out nah. here. <laughs> See, i am be real. I don't even feel like that. Like, because I'm humble in the most, like, in the most way, I'm be honest, like... And you are. You really I'm, cool. I'm blessed to be in the position I am to really be popping in my city. Mm -hmm. Because our city is very, like... Haters. I'm gonna put messy. Messy, ghetto, ratchet, it's, haters. It's more than that. Our city <laughs> it's is a like, lot. Our but, city kind of off. It's off, but... That's all I know. Yeah. yeah it's it's, but it's like, when you from here, I like... You're... I'm you're older than you. How old are you? I'm 21. Okay, so I'm 29, so... When I was his age, I thought the same way. And I still do. But it wasn't until I got to, like, 27 and 28 and I started really appreciating my city for the fact that, you feel me, I started appreciating my city for the fact that it was more so, like, when I go other places... Because we so gr gutter, grimy, messy, ratchet. They don't when fuck I go, with us. what? They don't fuck with us. When I go <laughs> other places, oh, we don't go to Bakersfield. We don't want to. Y'all niggas grimy. <laughs> you, you, y'all bitches. Well, yeah, nigga, quick. Like, yeah, yeah nigga, that's where lie. I'm from. The town made me. So when I go other places and people see me not giving a fuck and I'm turned the fuck up in your section and you like, oh, where this bitch from? I'm not from L.A., nigga. I'm from Bakersfield. Yeah. That's what y'all need to remember. And that's what I hate. Like, with the rapping shit, they be like, oh, he from L.A. Like, no. Young L.A. artists, like, when I drop hood, bitch, they was like, oh, these from L.A. niggas. We didn't mm. even have no L.A. shit on. I'm no. like, I'm like, whatever. But, like, I ain't gonna lie. What made me humble the way I am, I went to jail. And I'm gonna be real. Like, I went to jail in a little fluke case. It wasn't nothing serious. I didn't do no, like, serious time or nothing like that. But I was there probably four, I was there four days. And as I was sitting in jail, everybody knew every song of my, like, every lyric to my song. So I'm like, damn, it's like Mexicans, blacks, white, they knew who I was. Mm -hmm. And it was a good feeling. One dude, he asked me, he said, how the fuck you end up in jail? You just dropped a mixtape yesterday. I was like, I did. Bad, like, <laughs> being bad, badass. But now I didn't know my tape dropped because my homies dropped it because they not knowing how serious the case is. So they like, right. they just going to drop it. And dude was like, you just dropped the tape yesterday. I got it on my phone. I'm like, my whole tape? Like, he like, yeah. And I was like, damn. He was like, bro, I love track this. I love track that. I'm like, damn, this shit like crazy. Like, they really like my music. Mm -hmm. And it was like a humble thing. Like, I need to slow down. Like, people really like my music and people really want to hear what I got to say. Right. And it's like, when I start seeing the guards do my songs, I'm like, okay, the guards cool. So, like, they know my shit too. When right. I got arrested, the police didn't, they didn't even call me on my first name. It's like, Turbin, get out the car. I'm like, damn, they know me by Turbin? Like, <laughs> I'm like, this some bullshit. Yeah. I mean, that's how it be. That's how it's going to get. And, I mean, I hope that with your music career, it goes where you want it to go. Yeah. You know. And I hope that some of the people that I know that make music, you can link and make music with them too. Definitely. You know, it's always, it's always, every, if anybody knows me, I'm always trying to put somebody on to somebody else. Because I feel like I don't make music, but I was blessed with the gift of knowing people that do make music. And, you know, it's, it's like, I just try to be literally put on for my city. Because I know that it created the female that I am today. Like, I'm free, but there's a different person behind free that motherfuckers really don't know. That started who I am. So, and it, and it was born and raised here. So if I can keep it strictly in the city and make sure that everybody, you know, voices is heard, I feel like I got a that got an opinion and everybody want to hear. That's what I'm gonna do. So that's what we bring into y'all these types of vlogs. Um, you got the one with Ashley. I just did one with Turban. If you want to get on a vlog and you got some sort of like craft, you feel me in Bakersfield, or you just want to hop on the vlog and I fuck with you. If I don't fuck with you, don't ask me to be in shit. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck wrong with y'all. But yeah. if I don't fuck with you, don't ask me to be in my shit. Let me tell y'all about Free. I'm going to tell y'all. <laughs> I just met Free this year. <laughs> I met Free probably like, like we've been talking. We've been cool. Like I knew it for a while. We ain't ever talking like relationship like shit. We just been friends always. Yeah. But my nigga, I had a crush on, I had a crush on Free when I was like 13, 12 from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and this, this shit crazy because I was like, yeah, I was like, I wonder where she from the whole time she was from the town, but I didn't know that personally. So I was like, <laughs> me and my niggas used to argue, like, nigga, when we seen her on Kevin Edwards videos, I'm like, nigga, that's my boo right there. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, she fine. She had a little hair wrap on and shit. She was Miss Turn before it. It was you even feel lit. Me? Like, I, I was, was like, man, but now nah, this is my dog, though. I fuck with her for sure. Yeah, and I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna support her all the way, like, whatever she need me to do. She needs to come out with some t-shirts for this shit, though. What I you? am. I am. And those are coming soon. What you gonna call these vlogs, though? The the, the, the quarantine car file. <laughs> what, what, what about when the quarantine's over? I mean, when the quarantine is over, 
then we'll change the theme of the vlogs. But I do think that I want to stick to the same theme of like interviewing people. Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie, you should probably call it free days. Like, you know, like that, that, because you know, like it's your free day, you do what you do on your free yeah, day. Yeah, that one free, works. So. Yeah. That works. I got turban. Really? I need some money for that. Ah, you see how niggas is always trying to get a dollar out of somebody? You see how niggas? Okay, but um, I'm about to post his info, stream his music on, where is it on? Uh, Apple Music, Spotify, uh, SoundCloud. What's the? Really everything. What is the name they need to search? Uh, type in turban, turban foe. It don't matter, F-O-E, if you're looking for it, but it's mostly just turban. You can look at my projects. I dropped I dropped one project, Bitches Love Turban. I dropped another one, Lord Turban. And on SoundCloud, I got an exclusive project called The Park Star. Okay. And then um, I'm going to put your Instagrams and your stuff at the end. But if you want to shout them out on here, too. You already know. Hit me on the ground at Turban Fold. Facebook Turban Fold. Don't, look, don't mess with me no crazy shit. My baby mother is crazy. She be tripping. She be on my page and all that. So chill. <laughs> <laughs> She'll go live with my shit if she got to. <laughs> <laughs> she will go live if she got to. And you got BM fucked up. Right, that's <laughs> just... I already know he ain't shit. So slide in the DMs on the no, I'm just playing. Slide in. <laughs> I'm just, I'm joking. I'm joking. Right. Slide in, right? <laughs> baby mama don't come for me. <laughs> Shit, baby mama crazy. It's my second one. She's just wild. My first one cool. My second one. That's often. how it's supposed to be. Cause just know you you impregnate this. I'm tripping, 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 tripping. Free so tripping. She ain't even pregnant. Ah, it's true. <laughs> At least somebody called me out on it though. I'm dead. All right. Well, we gonna go ahead and end this vlog. I'm gonna come to y'all. I you feel me? I I delivered. You feel me? And I got that um exclusive <laughs> Draco. The Ruler interview. So be stay tuned. Hold on, I ain't gonna, I'm a, you got a Draco interview? I got a Draco the Ruler I'm gonna interview. Tell you, look, I'm going to tell you the honest truth. Draco, Exclusively from Men Central Jail. I'm going to be real. Niggas don't give Draco no credit. Draco mm. is one of the reasons I rap today, and I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell niggas like this. Draco is a big influence on my career. Like, I ain't never fuck with Lean. I ain't never going to lie. I ain't never try Lean personally. But Draco is one of them niggas... I can say he birthed a lot of niggas, and I was one of them niggas, I'm not afraid to say it, mm -hmm. that he really showed me young niggas get money, like, out of some shit, like, just coming up, he had his whole team, Free to Stink team, man. Right, Free Draco. Free Draco. I was on the phone with him last night. Man, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a, that's... You didn't know, Darren favorite, knew. <laughs> that's my favorite rapper out of everything, I ain't gonna lie, that's one of my favorite rappers. Well, you gonna, I'm definitely gonna have to tell him, and you're yeah. gonna have to definitely say I've been a big fan of him since when ever, he calls. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I've been a big fan of Draco since like 2014. I remember getting suspended from school, walking right. home, this sort of shit. Like, yeah, that's when so. he had all kind of shit. I got y'all that exclusive interview. So you guys don't know when I'm dropping it. So you gotta just keep, you feel me, watching the channel and watching every interview. <laughs> because y'all don't know. I got that yesterday and it ain't dropping the next day. So y'all don't know. Yeah. So go ahead and um, like, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for supporting me all these years. I still got damn near like 7,000 subscribers on here. I know I don't be posting shit. But I'm going to give you guys exclusive interviews and the inside of my life. Because I do be around a lot of special people that I just don't share it. Because I don't be doing it for the clout and for the gram. But I'm going to start documenting and sharing it. Because I know my fans. You know, y'all want to see what's up with the girls. So you know tap you, in. You know, not to cut you off. You know you need to get Who? Kevin. Oh yeah, I already said that on the last one. Well, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna get Kevin. We gonna get, you, we gonna get that exclusive interview with Kevin Edwards. Don't even trip. I got that for y'all YouTubers, the original YouTube fans that used to fuck with us in the, you feel me, the 2014s and the 2013s. Them fans. I'm gonna get that for y'all. But um, tap in, subscribe. Um, his information will be inside of the bio on the video. Mine will be on site on top of the page on the bio. Like I said, if you guys want to tap in to do an interview and you're in my city or even if you're in L.A. and you want to do an interview and you feel like you got something to say, hit me. Follow my Instagram. Hit me up. Let me know what's up. Thank you. Yo, nigga, ask about me, bitch. I'm your cousin. I got a thing for a ratchet ass crib, bitch. A blood bitch with thick lips and some thick hips. I got a thing for a bitch from the G. I want to fuck a few bitches from CT. Southside, baby, where all them country girls at? How you doing? My name's Turbin, little baby. I'm just a Mac. I'm a dog ass nigga. I only fuck from the back. I'm in your section with a gun and some bitch with some face tats. Fuck a Maserati, bitch. I'm in love with Maybachs. I can fuck you when I want it, yo, baby.